and blessings peace love and blessings this is just a real quick video y'all more so like a warning um many of you are coming closer and closer to your breakthrough coming closer and closer to promises being fulfilled in your life and the father is really expressing it is very important to be quiet in this hour okay um for some of y'all um the father had to kind of put like a detour to have you go a different route because there was monitoring spirits that was literally monitoring your every move which caused some type of delay um or a sneak attack okay to delay the promise so i know you guys are excited about the revelation that god has been giving you um but in this hour it's just it's just best to just keep it to yourself what god is doing as he's shifting you into your new beginning please shh okay guys i can't express it more than like i just i just really want y'all to just guard this thing like it's a newborn baby you know how when you first have a baby and you don't tell the world i need y'all to guard it just like that or when you find out you're pregnant you don't tell the world until later i need y'all to guard it like that um god had gave me um confirmation of this first of all i was in the word and there were certain things that were standing out to me. And one, one word stood out to me. It said, um, uh, postponement. It says something like postponement or plans postponed. And then it says sneak attack. And I was just like, oh, Holy Spirit. Okay. Okay. And so in the middle of the night, I was asleep, but I woke up. It was a cartoon that my kids was watching and I woke up to it. I woke up to hearing it and I was like, oh my gosh. So what? you know what happened was the cartoon there was two people it was two people that was getting married right and it was two people that was getting married right and they were literally at the altar and they was about to kiss and then out of nowhere was a friend of me that came and blocked out them from this first kiss right and they were seeing like this kiss was going to clear all the problems away but the um the the person that was actually a enemy was literally sent to block it out because they didn't want she didn't want to see the friend be happy this is all in a cartoon and so as i was hearing it i jumped up and i was like oh okay so for this this is about someone's marriage promise okay there's many monitoring spirits that's taking place that is trying to block your union because when you two get married you are the curse breaker of your family and when you two get married you know that's a signifier of curses being broken off the bloodline and the enemy does not want that to happen but see the enemy is in a panic right now because something already broke in the spiritual so he's sending major major warfare major warfare um he's sending monitoring spirits he's sending double agents okay and the and counterfeits um to come in to block and to stop what god is trying to do he is super mad right now and it's kind of like a spirit of retaliation so even in this hour y'all i'm telling y'all y'all need to just just keep it to yourself whatever news or whatever god is telling you in your quiet time when you spend it with god, keep it to yourself okay keep it to yourself if you like, write it in your journal if need be if you can't keep contain it because it's so juicy you know god been giving major revelation these past few weeks and stuff but keep it to yourself keep it to yourself even down to like your best friend you know what i'm saying don't because the, satan is the god of this air okay and so his goal is as soon as you release something out your mouth his goal is to intercept and snatch it okay so that you won't you know this promise won't be fulfilled okay so y'all i am like please please all i'm saying is to please take heed to what i'm saying guard this thing like a bulldog you hear me? Guard it like a bull dog. Keep your mouth shut. Y'all ever notice sometimes when you be so excited to tell somebody good news and then it end up like folding, like it end up just whatever you had planned, it didn't work out. That's because you spoke too soon. And so God in this hour is telling you, do not speak too soon. Just be quiet. Okay. He had to kind of do like a detour. You know what I'm saying? To kind of trick the enemy so that the enemy can get off your back. Okay, so whatever plans God is telling you, it may be a detour. The promise still stands, but something shifted, okay, where God had to detour you and take you another route because the enemy was on your back. Okay, so if you keep your mouth shut, the enemy's not going to know. He's not going to know the left hand from the right hand. He's not going to know your next move. So please, I urgently, I'm telling y'all, shh, in this hour, okay, shh, 
in this hour. Okay. Also, too, there may be some people popping up in your life just to find out what's going on with you, just to monitor your move, just to see what's going on. OK, they're not sent from the most high. They are sent from the enemy. OK, their plans is to steal, kill and destroy the promise that God has for you. They want to monitor what you got going on so that they can block it out with their own. You know what I'm saying? They work for the enemy. They might act like they serve God. That's why I said they're a double agent. They may betray like they serve God, but really they work for the enemy. So y'all, if y'all find yourselves, you know, old people reaching out to you, asking you about your whereabouts and what you got going on, lie. What I'm telling you, I'm sorry. I don't promote lying, but lie. It ain't none of their business. What you got going on ain't none of their business period point blank keep your mouth shut don't let nobody know too much about what you got going on because you're about to transition to your new okay so congratulations in advance okay i, I love y'all so much please take heed of that um keep it quiet keep it quiet this time just stay just consecrate yourself and just stay in the father's presence okay um limit your phone conversations limit what you're i mean not even phone conversations but just limit what you're talking about when it comes to your personal life on, over the phone okay because there really is a such thing as monitoring spirits you know they come in all shapes and forms and stuff they come as bugs and flies and roaches and people and you know what i'm saying and remember we live in a spiritual world so it's really not about that particular thing or that particular person it's about the spirit you know what i'm saying behind the person so just be careful and use discernment and um you know just keep your mouth shut y'all because something big is happening and the enemy is big mad because something broke in the spirit okay so again um stay prayed up stay at the father's feet and um so let me add scripture real quick um because the holy spirit had gave me luke 145 and that scripture quotes blessed is she who believed that the lord will fulfill his promise to her okay so that was even confirmation that promises are being fulfilled in this hour because of your belief but he's giving you certain rule or certain commands or just you know just the blueprint okay to keep it hut keep it on a hush because you are crossing over into into new land and the second scripture that he gave me was deuteronomy 11 eight i'm sorry deuteronomy 11 verses eight and i think it's funny because this page is on the scripture is on page 211 which also means a land known for gold and i always say this is like a land for me i believe this is the land of milk and honey okay so let me read this scripture to y'all real quick hold on yeah it's like the land or like the promised land you know what i'm saying but let me read this real quick y'all i said observe therefore all commands i am giving you today so Maybe, you know, just even my warning is just something that you should, you need to observe before crossing over. It says, so that you may have the strength to go in and take over the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. And so that you may live long in the land the Lord swore to your ancestors to give them, to give to them and their descendants a land flowing with milk and honey. The land you are entering to take over is not the land, not like the land of Egypt from which you have seen, which, which you have come where you have planted your seed and irrigated it by foot as in a vegetable garden. But the land you are crossing the Jordan to take possession of is a land of mountains and valleys that drinks from rain from rain from heaven. It is a land the Lord your God cares for. The eyes of the Lord your God are continually on it from the beginning of the year to its end. Okay, so, all right, so y'all, in other words you guys are crossing over okay and so you are to observe all commands that the father has given you and um to just get ready because you are about to take possession of whatever land you are going to whatever land you are crossing over to this is a land <clears throat> in a valley that drinks rain from heaven okay this is a land flowing with milk and honey this is your promised land so this is confirmation yet again that you are crossing over into your promised land and so it's just important to just keep your mouth shut as you do so okay because <clears throat> again the enemy does not want this to happen amen so again i congratulate you um i suggest you guys take time to read the full uh, scripture of Deuteronomy 11 because there's some great things that is taking place in this hour and I want you guys to guard it okay just protect it okay peace love and blessings I love you so I also wanted to do and include a part two okay so there are some commands that you must follow as you enter 
um, as you cross over, okay? And so the Father is really expressing that you obey these commands because not only this is a blessing, but this could be a curse, okay? This could be a blessing because of your obedience or this could be a curse because of your disobedience. And God is giving you particular commands to follow when you do cross over, okay? The key point is do not forget about God. When you cross over, do not forget about God, okay? You are to teach these commands and write these on the tablets of your heart and you are to teach your children these particular things as well, okay? Because as you do so, God will send rain on your land, okay? You are going into new territory to take possession of new territory. But the thing about it is you have to still obey the Father. You can't let these things get to your head. You still have to stay humble no matter what, okay? You are not to worship false gods, not partake of the Okay, again, like I said, you are not to worship false gods or the things of this world. Do not go back to how you used to live. You are to continue how you've been living before you entered into this promise. Because obviously God trusts you to even push you or to allow you to enter into the promise because of your obedience. Okay, so you are to continue to be obedient and carefully observe and carefully keep all of the commands and follow the commands okay and i'm telling you every place every place you step foot in you will own <laughs> they will know who you are every place that you step foot in it will drive out these demons okay so it is good to live a consecrated life a repentant a life of repentance you know what i'm saying and, and you have been doing so but keep it up Okay, even when it comes to mar your kingdom promises, if God is telling you to not to defile the marriage bed, then you make sure you follow his command and you still walk humbly and pure and obedient to what God is. So, um, obedience is important. So I'm just going to read, I'm going to read um, some of it to you. This is Deuteronomy 11 and I'm going to start with 13 because the last video I started with verses 8. So hold on real quick. So it says this, it says, so if you faithfully obey the commands I am giving you today to love the Lord your God and to serve him with all of your heart and with all of your soul, then I will send rain on its land, on, on its land, on your land in its season, both autumn and spring, so that you may gather in your grain, new wine and olive oil. It says, I will provide grass in the fields for your cattle and you will eat and be satisfied. Be careful or you will be enticed to to turn away and worship other gods and bow down to them. Then the Lord's anger will burn against you and he will shut up the heavens so that it will not rain and the ground will yield no produce and you will soon perish from the good land the Lord is giving you. Verse 18, fix these word of mine in your hearts and minds, tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Teach them to your children talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road when you lie down and when you get up hold on we turn the page write them on the door fronts of your houses and on your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be many in the land the lord swore to give your ancestors as many as the days that the heavens are above the earth if you carefully observe all these commands i am i am giving you to follow to love the lord your god to walk in obedience to him and to hold fast to him then the lord will drive out all these nations before you you will dispossess nations larger and stronger than you every place where you set your foot will be yours your territory will extend from the desert to lebanon and from the euphrates euphrates river to the mediterranean sea on along okay so it says no one will be able to stand against you the lord your god as he promised you will put the terror and fear of you on a whole land wherever you go it says see i am setting before you today a blessings a blessing and a curse the bl the blessing if you obey the commands of the lord your god that i am giving you today the curse if you disobey the commands of the lord your god and turn from the way that i command you today by following other gods which you have not known when a lord your god has brought you into the land you are entering to possess you are to proclaim on mount jerusalem y'all I'll, I'll be butchering the names um the blessings and on mount eba the curses as you know these mountains are across the jordan westward toward the setting sun near the great trees of more and the territory of those canaanites living in the araba in the vicinity of gilgal you are about to cross the jordan to enter and take so it says um 
You are about to cross the Jordan to enter and take possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you. When you have taken it over and are living there, be sure that you obey all decrees and laws I am setting before you today. Okay, so this is your instructions for the crossover. Be sure to make sure you are take you are observing his commands and you are following and being obedient. Okay, because we know that disobedience brings curses. Okay, to 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 um to obey is better than sacrifice. So in this hour, y'all went through so much to get to this point. Okay, and it's not worth you know just walking in disobedience. All of your blessings, it's not worth sacrificing your blessings. Okay, so just the same way you were walking in obedience to get to this point is the same way you are to continue to walk in obedience to obtain this blessing that God is giving you. Okay, so again, congratulations in advance.